Hi guys and welcome to Join to Med. My name is Hazal. And my name is Lydie. And today's video is about medical interviews and comparing MMIs and panels. But before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and also turn on your post notifications. The MMI and the panel interview are two methods that medical schools use to interview candidates. So a panel interview usually consists of two or three people who are interviewing you. However, an MMI consists of multiple mini interview stations where candidates rotate and they're faced with different scenarios with different interviewers. It's really important that you know what type of interview method the specific university you are going to use is so that you can prepare in the right way. But at a future date, we will both be releasing separate videos on our different interview experiences at the different universities we went to, so make sure you guys look out for those. Maybe you'll prefer panel because as a candidate, it does give you that time to build a rapport with your interviewer. And in addition to this, you do have that flexibility to be able to signpost your answer because you have more time for the discussion to take place. However, with a panel interview, the disadvantage is that there isn't a variety of different questions they can ask you. For example, there are no role play stations. This may mean that your full potential may not be seen and you will not be able to show the interviewer or your different skills. You will be interviewed by two or three people staring down at you waiting for this amazing answer to leave your mouth. <laughs> so do ensure that you're not intimidated. You have done your prep, so be confident. Don't be scared by emotionless straight faces by interviewers either. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're unhappy with your response. Sometimes they might just want to be testing you. Tell me about it. <laughs> In a panel interview, it is really important that you distribute your eye contact. What I mean by this is, you're going to have three people who are interviewing you, but only one will be asking a question at a particular time. This doesn't mean that you only look at that one person. Even though one person asks you the question, still look left, right and centre to make sure that you are addressing everyone and everyone feels like they are part of the conversation. And just to complete the panel, ensure that when you walk in there, you're enthusiastic, you're bubbly, you're smiling, make an impression. Ultimately, those three people will be deciding whether you get that conditional offer or not. So now we are moving on to the multiple mini interview stations, which are MMIs. MMIs provide you the opportunity to be assessed on various skills. MMIs are very varied, so you might have one station where there's role play, but then another station where they ask you about a specific ethical scenario, so you really need to be prepared for the variety that they have. Definitely. And on top of that, if one station doesn't go right, it's okay, we move. Keep it stepping, don't allow one station to bring your morale down for the rest of the stations. That's the good thing about MMIs, it allows you to constantly build new relationships with the people who are interviewing you. So if one doesn't go well and you didn't leave a good impression, just try and forget about it. I know it's easier said than done, but forget about it, move on and just focus on the next one and how you're going to make that one better. Definitely, you're usually given one to two minute break between the stations, so that's a great opportunity to prepare your mentality and prepare for what you have to do for the next station. MMIs, however, might not be suitable for students that prefer a more intimate discussion with two or three So, Like we said, MMIs have lots of different stations and they are often very fast paced, so make sure that you're prepared for this both mentally and physically. Expect the unexpected. I had a very, very interesting MMI at Anglia Ruskin actually and I didn't prepare for it. However, I had to be able to adapt myself to the situation. So even though you're doing your preparation, always be prepared for the worst. And definitely be yourself, especially during your role PlayStation. You might be asked to visit a mother and her baby. You wouldn't go in there robotically. You might say, oh, hi there, what's your name? You know, be able to adapt yourself. It's nerve wracking, but don't forget your interpersonal skills. It may seem like panels and MMIs are completely different, but they are not, so don't worry yourself if you have both and you feel like you have extra preparation to do. They often overlap, so it's actually making it easier for you. Regardless of what interview style you have, remember that the person sitting in front of you is thinking, would I want this to be my future doctor? So ensure that you're coming across confident, you know what you're talking about, and believe in yourself that you can get that offer. Thank you very much for watching today's video. We really hope that you enjoyed our interview series. We can't wait to talk about our personal experiences in upcoming videos, so ensure that you do stay tuned. As always, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe, and also follow us on social media if you haven't already. And we'll see you soon. Bye.